Hello everyone, Will again here. So today on the farm we are haylage making again, but we had a heavy dew and a little bit of rain last night, so just popped over to the field to check how the grass is looking. So if we pop down here, what we're basically doing is making sure that there's not any moisture in the grass, but unfortunately it is just a little bit wet on top, so I'm reckoning it's gonna take about an hour to dry and then we can get going. So the plan for today, I am on the rake, so that is what I'm doing today. I don't normally get a chance to go on the rake, so it should be quite a good day. And it's nice and sunny, as you can see. So it is bound to be a cracking day. If you do enjoy the video today, guys, please give it a massive like. You'll see more videos just like this one. Smash that subscribe button. And also, guys, something different for today, just leave a comment, anything you'd like to see on the channel in the future. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today, guys. Cheers. <laughs> An hour has passed and I am on the way. So we've got the twin road to Raycon today. Obviously, all class kit we run. I'm on the 6430. And we have about five fields to rake today. I say about, we've got five fields to rake today. First place we're off to, there's three in one patch and one across the road. And then we have got one bigger field to rake at the end. So yeah, that is the plan. Thankfully, the grass has dried up. So the problem was, um, as you get in England, you get dew, so a bit of moisture on top of the surface of the ground overnight if you have a, a certain type of night and it comes down. As well as that, we had a little bit of a shower last night, which wasn't ideal. So it's put us back, it's about 11 o'clock now, and we're off to get this um, rake up to start bailing. We were planning to start at half nine, but it is what it is, and we'll crack on. I'll see you in the field, guys. That is the headlands done and we're on to the main part of the field now. So as you probably saw, I was a little bit rusty because I haven't done this this season yet. Uh, but yeah, full into the full swing with it not too long obviously. On this rake, they're on separate levers. So the right hand uh, rotor and the left hand rotor are on separate levers. Some rakes, they're the same. So you just gotta get used to that. And obviously you don't wanna be rowing up stuff you've already rowing up. So. Headlands, you got to concentrate a bit. The drone was up. It was manic. <laughs> but yeah, doing a good job now. Dad's here bailing and he says that the roads are alright, so that's the main thing. As long as the bailer man's happy, we're happy. As you can see, they're both up now. So then we drive over the headlands with them up and then go back down. This field hasn't actually been tedded because it was that dry, but it's one of them. We usually do ted everything, but when it's a smaller crop, it dries a lot quicker because obviously the sun touches a lot more of the crop, crop, the crop, crop, the crop on the floor. Just trying to straighten this up now. So obviously the headlands usually they're not straight. So what we try and do is straighten the um, rows up as we get across the field because the baler man likes straight rows. It's easy to bail, and if they're all kinked, it's harder. Like on the headlands, it can be a pain in the bum to break. But one thing that I did forget to say is it's a sunny day, but even better, the test match is on. So, England are playing India today, and it is ideal because I'm a big lover of the cricket. So, when the test match is on and we're carting hate, it is a good day. But yeah, 
um, we're cracking on, absolutely flying across this field. This wreck, this wreck, this rake eats grass. So for those who haven't watched the channel before, we are on the class, is it the Volto um, 790? I may have got that completely wrong, I'll put it on screen now. But yeah, what we find is the class kit is just so reliable and so good quality. We've used Pottinger in the past, it does a really good job, but the metal in it doesn't tend to last. So with the amount of grassland that we do, it's quite um, a high volume. We do contracted too, as well as the grass at home. The potting just stuff, the metal in it just doesn't seem up to crack basically. Whereas this class stuff, it's built to last. Obviously there's other brands like the, like the Crone stuff. Crone's meant to be quite good. There's a lot of metal in it, but it makes it quite heavy. So this is kind of what suits us really. Everyone has their preferences like seen people, I know, uh, I don't know what's it called, Tom Pemberton, he's got that Malone tether at the moment, if I'm honest we're not that keen on Malone kit, nothing against them but we don't like those times with like a right angle on, we don't think that they toss the grass up well enough but that's my opinion and my granddad and dad's opinion, everyone thinks different but yeah I'm going to cause a whole debate, everyone has their own preferences like just like the John Deere New Holland debate, everyone loves their stuff. Right, I'll stop blabbering on, carry on raking, and the tractor will keep talking to me. Well, they're flying across this field, literally, in a matter of what, 20 minutes? I bet I've nearly done this field, there's probably another three runs. We're on to the second field, now it's going well, crops looking alright for second cut. Uh, no problems as of yet, touch wood. And yeah, I uh, was going to mention a couple of things coming up on the farm. So we got staff show in a couple of weeks. That should be really cool. I think we're taking a dozen sheep to that. So staff show is actually our local county show. So we like to take a few more sheep there and give it the support it needs. Especially this year, as it's later in the year. So normally it's June this time. It's at the end of August because of the dreaded COVID. But we're excited for that. Um, the proper straw harvest should start Sunday-ish I reckon so all the combines will be out Sunday so we should get some more straw baling in. Um, I'm going to try and do a fertility test on the tops. I don't know if I've left it too late but we'll see how that gets on. But there are a few things coming up on the farm but as always we're on the haylage in the hay. There's some hay down at the farm as well so that stuff I actually showed you earlier was hay but it was a good example of dew and moisture so this stuff is drying off now anyway there's not a lot of moisture left there just like the outside so any bits that are just under the trees that the sun doesn't get to see those bits tend to stay a little bit wet it's a bit rough around the edge of this field these are some of the actual rented fields on the farm so these are away from home as you probably guess because they drove down the road and it wasn't at the home farm yeah, so we rent, what would it be? Round here, off two separate farmers we rent, what will it be? One, two, three, four, five. I think seven or eight fields in a patch of two farmers. So they're all, they're not huge fields, but they throw some really good crops, especially the one over the hedge in there, the big one that I'm gonna rate last. That usually has a really good crop on it. And that's actually Reg's field, so if you remember Reg from some of the videos, he's got the New Holland Loader, that's his field. He doesn't farm now, but he likes to help us out because obviously a lot of people have had farms in the past and then sold them. They still like the farming, so if they ever can get back involved with it, which Reg does, it's quite nice. Third field underway now, so I reckon this one is about 9, 10 acres, maybe a little bit smaller, but yeah, another awkward shaped field. There's a nice little pond in it though, to be fair. But yeah, looks decent crop on this. I reckon it's probably the biggest crop of the three I've done so far. Just avoiding the hedges. One thing I did just want to add on, guys, is what the rake actually does. As you saw from the drone shots before, it has two rotors on the back, and each rotor has loads of arms, and those arms have tines on. So basically, the tines pick the grass up and they pull it into a line in the middle. So both the rotors, they turn into one and they make a line. So all the grass on the field is flat after it's been tedded, apart from the bits in the middle. It's a bit unusual just because it's second cut and how it is. So basically, 
So we're just making line for the baler to bail in the simplest form possible basically, so that's what I'm doing. So I have had a change of tractor, so for those keen eyed people, I'm on the 6130M instead of the 6430 and I've got a trailer of haylage on the back. And that is because Grandad took me off for raking, so he was at a meeting today, that is why he wasn't raking and I was. Nice to have a little bit of a go on the rake because I haven't this year yet, so that was ideal and very cool. But it's back to the normal job of me karting, so I'm not going to bore you with that again. One thing I am going to say, next video, come back because I have a huge announcement to make and it's because of all you guys supporting the channel. I can't quite say yet because the announcement is going to be official tomorrow, so I can't tell you that. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it today guys, please give the video a comment and a like because I want to know those things that you guys want me to show you on the farm. So just let me know anything that you haven't seen on the farm that would like to see smash that comment button well type into that comment button smash the like button subscribe to the channel i will see you next time guys cheers see you again